The supersizing of America leads to all sorts of design challenges. Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Tupperwine. Today we'll hear from designers who figured out how to comfortably transport larger patients. We recently spoke to Karash Nahavandi, a design engineer for Stryker Medical in Portage, Michigan. Stryker Medical designs cots, beds, and stretchers to transport patients into ambulances and around in hospitals. The ever-increasing size of American patients creates an interesting design challenge. Five, six years ago, our cots were rated for 500 pounds, um, and now they're actually increased to about 700 pounds. And uh, one of our latest products that's actually doing very well is a hydraulic lifted cot. Patients are now becoming bigger and bigger. Um, it's sad to say, but I think the average patient now is about 500 pounds being transferred in ambulances. Design constraints include the weight of a cot because emergency medical technicians, or EMTs, are lugging them around in and out of ambulances, hospitals, and houses. The cots have to roll well because they may have to go over curbs and even into open fields. Finally, the EMTs also have to take the cots into apartment buildings, so they have to be small enough to fit through those doors, all while being big enough to hold the largest of patients. The side rails are a key mechanism that holds the patient on the cot. Karash explained to us how old side rails worked with a scissoring action that ran vertically along the patient's body. Unfortunately, that design led to some issues for larger patients. Pinching is a big issue for people that have excess skin, excess fat um, along the sides. So a new side rail that we're working on is a folded one where it would scoop the patient as it's lifted up from the sides and kind of hold them in so they're more comfortable when they're being transferred to the hospital. Sharp edges are also a big concern on any cot. Rolling cots are intended to be temporary transportation beds, so the patients will be frequently moved on and off the cot. During that transfer, they can't be exposed to any sharp edges. The striker side rail turns into a flat sheet for transfer. All the controls that the EMTs use are on the outside, so that when they have to transfer the patient, the area that is in contact is nice and smooth. We use Creo Parametric because it's really easy for me to go back and make any changes that marketing wants to ask for later. It's really hard in the beginning of the design to know what the final design is going to look like. So having that ability to go back, change it, have it propagate through the whole model, it's great. We invite you to learn more about Creo Parametric, the same software that the team at Stryker Medical uses to design their hydraulic cots. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. We'll see you next week for more great design engineering.